And your double, your, there are two Ninas. Uh, they're all me. The other one is just uh, like my mobile phone. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Please introduce yourself. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. can you see me? Please now? share your screen. Uh, can you see me? Because I cannot. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. Okay. Now let me share my screen. Sorry about the inconvenience. Great. Okay, um, hello everyone. I'm very glad to present our work to you, which is entitled a second order adaptive network model for exam rel related anxiety regulation. So this work was done by Isabel uh, Agnieszka, myself and Yang Tuo. And um, our work is firstly to uh, get a little bit into the exam anxiety is defined in the psychological literature as a side of uh, different responses that accompanies the concern someone might have about positive negative evaluation or loss of competence while performing an exam or other evaluation system. So in general, it is perceived that the anxiety has positive motivation, uh, motivating consequences, but only when experienced in a moderate amounts. And um, because once this emotion becomes too strong and overwhelming, it can bring a lot of adverse effects, such as, uh, for example, the loss of sleep, the inability to concentrate it, or the, um, some headaches. And all these negative consequences may actually significantly hamper individuals' performance during the evaluation situation. So the solution that the literature stressed for this sort of problem is that employing emotion regulation strategies, which are as their name indicated, uh, the strategies or even abilities to effectively control what emotions we experience and when and how we express them. Um, so now let me tell you a bit more about the context and motivation of our work. Um, our starting point was noticing how the exam anxiety process changed recently uh, due to the switch from the offline examination mode to many the online exams. And why we argue they changed is because there are new mental states that now contribute to the anxiety. For example, students might worry about like potential network problems or technical issues with the examination system. However, like the certain problems are also not present in the online settings. For example, uh, the social anxiety related to the interactions with colleagues in examination room. All of this led us to the idea of comparing the exam anxiety between two exam contexts, online and offline. Moreover, we decided to uh, study the role that emotion regulation strategies have in modifying exam anxiety and to employ uh, the adaptive modeling approach. So based on our knowledge about the exam anxiety, as mentioned before, now we could think about how to design the states of this network model. Um, so first of all, first of all, we have two states that represent the modality of the exams, the online exam and the offline exams. And after this, we think about the issues of the problems or the concerns that might happen and we categorize them into two big groups, the before exam issues and the during exam issues. For example, before the exam, students might need to check the materials or technical tools, and they might worry about whether the environment would be quite comfortable enough for the exam. And also during the exam, they might like affected by the internet or system problems uh, and so on. And all those issues that uh, are summarized based on Alcott and uh, Karakus research, a very conducted survey that report the views and difficulties that students have during online exam modalities. Then we introduced the four filling uh, preparation states um, representing students' expectations and certain uh, psychological indicators 
And finally, all this leads to the anxiety level of the exam. As we would like to stimulate um, the emotion regulation, so we added some control states um, as, the, uh, as well as the optic beliefs. And also to introduce the heavy learning process, we also add corresponding W states and H states, uh, which we will later on introduce a bit. So here comes the design of the multi-layer network model, which is built uh, based on Toro's adoptive network modeling approach. And we can see the base level, just like we discussed before, we have two states representing the online and offline exams which means that if we are on the online exam setting, this state would be a constant one and the other state would be a constant zero. And the following like the line of states here are the issues that happens before or during the exams. Uh, what's important here are the two pairs of the opposite beliefs for introducing the emotion regulation. One is about the belief of, uh, of stable and comfortable environment. And the other one is about the type of questions. And we can see the like dark brick circles here. And then we have four states, which is called filling preparation states by us. And then finally, the exam inside the level state. And the blue and purple layers here are the first and second verification layers that we're using for the behavior learning process. And so the W states here are representing the value of connection waves between the two states in the base level. And the H states are actually the value of the speed factor for W states. So by this, we can now control the uh, learning process for uh, the network. So here comes our stimulation results. And first of all, we do the simulation under the setting of online exams. And so, which means that the online exam at the state, the value for the online exam states will always be activated as one. Uh, and for the offline exam will always be zero. So here we can um, observe the first reapproval, um, where we can see that uh, uh, at the very first beginning, like the negative beliefs will increase, and also the uh, which is very normal because the students might feel very um, confident about their current environment, but which will lead to the uh, increasing of the exam anxiety. Uh, after the increasing of exam anxiety the control state for environments will also increasing, which will then uh, decrease the negative belief for the environment and also increase the belief for positive environment. And um, we can uh, interpret it as the students can have this kind of uh, thinking that uh, think about their personal space, for, for example, their uh, bedrooms is much more confident, uh, comfortable than the classroom, so which will make them feel less anxiety about the exams. And also then we can see the second reprisal occurring that um, uh, we, we can see that while the exam anxiety is raising, the control states for the type of questions is all raising. Uh, therefore, the negative beliefs are decreasing and the positive beliefs are increasing. So perhaps that the students like during the exams will feel like this type of question, well, they're new, but I can handle it. So which will help them to decrease a bit about the anxiety. Um, and uh, just like we said, it is the second order adaptive network. So we can see the W states and the H states here um, and just, uh, with the processing they are increasing and control the whole system. And now we can see the second stimulation, which is on the offline exam setting. And here we can see that the, uh, the, online, uh, ex the online exam states are always zero and the offline exam uh, states are always one. And here, that we can see, first of all, the 
uh, overall exam anxiety is much lower than the online exams. Uh, but also some of states with, are with higher levels. Uh, for example, uh, like the states about worrying about being late due to a transport. Uh, but also there are some of the states which might not happen during the online exam. So they're always zero. So which uh, leads which leads to the results that the reprisal process for the first stage does not happen. And also for the second reprisal, because the exam anxiety is not that high, so we can see that um, the control states for the type of questions are quite low. They're just too slow to grow, so um, they do not help with uh, the negative beliefs and the positive beliefs here. Um, we can, uh, that result is also very reasonable because we can think about that the students are quite used to this type of questions as they are doing the offline exams all the time. And since the students do not need to learn how to regulate their anxiety, so we can see, also see that like both the W state and H states are quite low. And, uh, and we also do the experiment on the highly anxious person because for people who are prone to get anxious, uh, challenges like exams will easily affect their anxiety levels. So we want to see what, uh, what the mental states will be changed during the exam setting and how we can help this kind of uh, people with their with this uh, highly anxious issues. So we can see through this stimulation that um, first of all, their exam anxiety are really, really high, though it has been regulated a bit, but um, it is really, really slight. And uh, uh, compa compared to the uh, uh, average, uh, compared to the people with the average anxiety level, um, the the, the, their uh, exam anxiety level also raised a bit quickly. And that is because that the control states here are stay at uh, quite a low value. And the same situation also happens for the offline exam setting, where that the, just as the, uh, just as the previous uh, stimulation, the anxiety level for the offline exams are a little bit uh, lower than the online exam because people are more used to this kind of exam set. Um, but still, like the control states is not work as good as before. So this result actually match up uh, match our expectations since it is of like great difficulties for people who are prone to get anxious to regulate their anxiety. Uh, and also their speed of getting anxious and the degree of anxiety that they ultimately reach is higher than those of the healthy people here. Um, so uh, the assistance for people with uh, highly anxiety disorders should focus on the practice and guidance for anxiety regulation strategies in learning setting. Um, here we uh, have some conclusions for our work. Um, although we do not have any uh, empirical data to turn on our results, our theoretical simulation confirms that we expect it would be happened. And now we briefly sign it up here. Uh, first of all, the emotion regulation process worked as they could. Uh, so first we observed some decline in positive beliefs when anxiety kicks in, but the control states get stronger and then positive beliefs get stronger and the negative ones get weaker. Also, we observed that in all stimulations, uh, pre-exam state changed together and during exam state changed together too. And the states which could be uh, prevalent in online contests, for example, the issues with receiving assistance when needed rise to higher values than in the offline one and the one uh, and the other way around. And we can also see that the anxiety levels are higher in online exams and offline exams. Um, 
We can also see that the adaptive models also show desired behavior, meaning that adding adaptive layers make the states affected by the adaptation develop slower, but in the end, the levels at which they stabilize are very similar to those reached without adaptation. And for the highly uh, anxiety person, we also found that as expected, uh, reprisal process have limited utility for people uh, who have already suffered a lot from the high general anxiety levels. As their exam anxiety levels increase more, the appraisal process cannot help enough with reducing the anxiety. And, and uh, that's, uh, that's it for the presentation. And thank you so much for the attention. Uh, if anybody has any questions, we're happy to answer that. Uh, I have a question, uh, Nina. Yes. Uh, do, do, uh, how, how do you validate that your model is really working, or if needs some kind of enhancement? Because uh, I mean, uh, you, you are putting a lot of speculations on, on how uh, those uh, variables are interconnected to, to each other, and uh, you, you run the simulation, you see the, the, the graphics and you make some interpretations, but how can you validate that then and, and say, okay, this is really what is happening inside a human mind and, and, and this is uh, correctly measuring the level of anxiety that uh, someone will have in a situation like that? Uh, well, yeah, if we... Uh like the anxiety level may not be that easy to measure. Like we might, uh, we can, we might uh, get some data, but uh, to like to uh, verify that our model is, is working and it gives us the, like the expected process, but still, uh, I guess it is very hard to get the like the very real data. But however, like it is also the future direction that may, we may have some uh, kind of presented data and we want our experiment to, um, to see if our model really could uh, uh, predict how the result would be. I, I was wondering that maybe you could uh, show some of these results to, to someone that has a passage to a situation like this and, and, and ask uh, them if they agree that this is a correct measure of their anxiety or, or, or a thing like that. You could try to create a protocol that you could use to, to validate uh, your model. It, it would be interesting to, 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 to have this, this validation for, for the model. Yeah, exactly. Like uh, the ideal process is that we can, we need to uh, first recruit someone who uh, like suffer from the exam anxiety and ask them how they felt during the whole exam process and um, was their like symptoms or how they're feeling in every state. And mm -hmm. then we kind of uh, matching this data with our model. So then we can come out with a more process and more, uh, yeah, we can validate that the model is actually working with the data in the real world. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much about this question, yeah. Hello? Yes. Uh, so are we done with your talk? Yes, yes. Uh, if no one has further questions, like we can stop here. You have further questions, then please go ahead and answer. Mm, uh, I think maybe for now there's no more questions. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, great. Then, um, there is a message from somebody, I see. Okay, um, the next talk would be by uh, Frank Dion, correct?
Yes, that's correct. Please go ahead.